raised beds are a great way of growing vegetables and they're also quite easy to maintain in fact they can often be better easier to maintain than um, beds in the ground but of course you've got to build these so the question is how can you build these without really spending any money well I'm going to show you just how to do that these are paving stone boxes basically uh, they arrive at a building site full of paving stones so they've got to be really tough and hard wearing and they're quite a weight as well but these are what we use to build our raised beds so really tough hard wearing absolutely fantastic if you can get your hands on these speak to local builders uh, they often have them and they're often desperate to get rid of them because uh, they're they're no use to them once they have been unloaded of their paving stones but think about it imagine all the paving stones that would go into one of these the absolute weight is phenomenal so these are effectively designed to be perfect for turning into raised beds these are good examples of raised beds and interestingly they've got strawberries growing in here and that's exactly what we'll be growing in the raised beds that we're setting up uh, now these aren't made from the paving stone boxes but they are made from uh, waste timber so not a great deal of money needed to be spent on this uh, but they do have the brackets at the end here which uh, hold these uh, planks together. I think the planks were previously had a life as part of some scaffolding. We are now on what we call our far side allotment and this is the allotment where we're going to be setting up most of the raised beds because this, we grow a lot of soft fruit uh, on this plot and uh, we think that uh, we're going to get better results uh, for the strawberries by having them in the raised beds. But uh, what we've got here uh, you can see we've got two of the uh, the slate boxes, the paving stone boxes here with us already in place. Uh, we've got far one over there which we have filled with uh, layers of manure from our goat house, from our chicken houses, uh, layers of garden waste as well. And we're going to finish that off in a moment with the uh, garden compost that we've made. But this one here I'm going to show you how to align it actually uh, when I say show you how to line it it's uh, hardly going to take a few seconds uh, this is lined with the plastic feed sacks that we buy our chicken food in and occasionally a bit of goat food as well and sometimes feed for our sheep and we simply use a knife to slash them down one side so to open them out and then they were stapled in, you can see a staple there, they were stapled into place. And the staples are the only thing that we've actually had to buy to set up these raised beds. Now as you can see at the bottom, we don't need to line that, uh, you need to let it have access to the soil underneath. But there's already a bit of uh, garden waste that's gone into there as well. Something that's useful to add to compost bins and to raised beds is cardboard. Uh, we just lay that flat and then we put lots of other waste on top of it but it rots down gradually uh, and lets out its nutrients into the compost uh, at a regular but a re relatively slow, sl slow pace so that uh, the bed maintains its nutritional value for the plants over a longer period of time. So all those Amazon deliveries and that excessive cardboard that they use can actually be put to good use. 
Right, we have been cleaning out our goat house and hen houses recently. So we're going to add the muck from them. And, oh, a bit of cardboard. I think we'll add that in to here. And there's a lot of wood shavings in this. Um, that will rot down slowly as well. Uh, but as you can see, we have a bit of a ready supply of uh, muck because we keep the livestock. But if you haven't got any uh, livestock, then you can go to a local farm, see if you can get a few barrel loads of manure, or you just make compost from your kitchen waste and your garden waste. So this is a barrow of goat, chicken and duck droppings. It's not from inside a shelter or hen house or anything like that. It's just from the ground on what we call our near side allotment, which is where we keep our poultry and two of our goats. And literally we just take a spade or a fork, like this one, and just scrape it up from the ground and put it into the wheelbarrow and it's going to go into this bed here. Now this is our garden waste compost heap and we've not added to it in the last two years other than wood ash from our stove back home and a little bit of uh, sawdust and wood shavings that were used in one of the hen houses. Uh, so this is a nice big heap of rotted down garden compost and we're going to use that to top off the raised beds. lovely fine rich compost so hopefully the strawberries are going to love this when we plant them into it so here we have one completed raised bed ready for planting i'll just swing the camera around and here we have it, so we'll plant this up with strawberries. Now, it's early October now, so this is going to continue to rot down over the winter and into next year, and probably a bit longer given the uh, material that we've added to this uh, raised bed. Uh, so we'll need to top it up uh, occasionally with some compost uh, over the, the strawberries. The strawberries will just grow through it. Uh, but you can see this is a lovely fine texture to it so this is really good quality stuff made entirely from waste so the only cost that we incurred in building these or creating these was the cost of the staples so I think maybe a couple of pence not a bad investment so this bed here behind the three beehives uh, is where we have our strawberries growing but you can't really see many strawberries there's a few over there now there are plenty growing but unfortunately the problem with this bed is that it's been invaded by raspberries and as you can see by a lot of brambles as well and some comfrey uh, but it's going to be an awful lot easier to manage and to grow the strawberries if they're in a raised bed so it's worth investing the time to create them. So we've got about 20 of the paving stone boxes. Uh, some of them are down on our small holding and the rest are on the winnies here. So we're going to get them all together and we're going to put them on the patch behind us where the strawberries are and that area will be continue to grow strawberries on it but they'll all be in the raised beds but it's going to take quite a bit of effort <laughs> to get them all uh, set up, but that's one of the big jobs we've got to do this autumn.